In 1956, Syracuse University's Jim Brown was perhaps the best running back college football had ever seen, but he was unable to become the first African-American to win the Heisman Trophy. Some said if Brown couldn't do it, it might never happen. One year later, Ernie Davis took the field. Mr. Brown, what's it like at Syracuse for uh, men like us? It's not that different than a lot of places. Good morning, sir. Beautiful day, isn't it? But Schwartzwalder, he's one of the best coaches in college ball. Move, move, move. What are you smiling at? Right about now, I bet you're wondering what happened to that nice gentleman that begged you to come here, huh? Hey. Come on, let's go. What are you guys studying? A little bit of everything. Uh, We're on the football team. In that. I don't really know too much about football. Neither does he. Can't let him treat you like that. I say nothing. I do my talking on the field. <laughs> Look at that young man go! Syracuse just may have found their next great halfback. In light of what's going on in this country, do you feel added pressure to represent change? When I'm out on that field, I only think about winning the game. But that doesn't mean I don't know the color of my own skin. You think we've been south? We ain't been south till we go to Texas. We shouldn't play him. I have a responsibility to my team. Jack, Art, and me, we're all a part of your team. Maybe, coach, the rules down here are your rules, too. Now, that's something for color folk around here to open up a newspaper, Ernie, and see your name. You owe them more than just running a ball. I'm playing. You hear me? In a time of change. This is not just a game. We're fighting something else out on that field right now. One man had the courage. I can't even walk in the front door of a hotel. Now, all those people who believe that's right are watching. But you know what? So are they. To achieve the extraordinary. Winning this one means nothing if you lose yourselves. Don't you let anyone steal history away from you.